Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. Sixteen Candles is a 1984 coming-of-age comedy film. This stars Molly Ringwall, Michael Schofling, and Anthony Michael Hall. The film was written and directed by John Hughes in his directorial debut, and it's the first in a string of films by Hughes that centers on teenage life. The storyline goes that with the occasion all but overshadowed by her sister's upcoming wedding, Samantha, played by Molly Ringwall, faces her 16th birthday with typical adolescent dread. She pines for the studly older boy Jake, played by Michael Schofling, but she worries that her chastity will be a big turnoff for the popular senior. Meanwhile, she must constantly rebuff the affections of the nerdy Ted, played by Anthony Michael Hall, the only boy in the school, unfortunately, who seems to take an interest in her. Anthony Michael Hall and Molly Ringwald initially disliked each other, so John Hughes took them to a record store, and they ended up bonding when they found out that they liked the same music. One of the groups that they liked was the Rave Ups, which Molly scribbled on Samantha's notebook. Molly's real-life sister, Beth Ringwald, appears in the film as Patty Baker. In a similar scenario, in The Breakfast Club, also done by Hughes, Anthony Michael Hall's mother, Mercedes Hall, and his sister appear as his mother and sister in the film. Everyone seems to think that Molly Ringwald was John Hughes's favorite young actor. But of all the young actors that he worked with, he worked with Anthony Michael Hall the most. They worked together in Vacation, Sixteen Candles, Breakfast Club, and Weird Science. The second most popular was Molly Ringwald, and she was in Sixteen Candles, Breakfast Club, and Pretty in Pink. But then pops up Macaulay Culkin, who is actually tied for second because he was in Uncle Buck and Home Alone Number 1 and Home Alone 2. Of all the films that Molly Ringwald and John Hughes made together, she states that she had the most fun making 16 Candles. You'll also see the brother and sister team of John Cusack and Joan Cusack appear in this film. John plays Bryce, who's one of Anthony Michael Hall's geeky friends, and Joan is a geeky girl herself, and she can be seen on the bus and also having trouble sipping water from a drinking fountain while wearing a neck brace. Carlin Glenn, who plays Brenda, confronted the director Hughes about the fact that the script didn't call for her to apologize for forgetting her daughter's birthday, despite the fact that her character was described in it as a good and attentive mother. Hughes agreed with her and added the scene where Brenda tearfully apologizes to Samantha. A number of the interior and exterior shots involving the high school, which in real life was Niles East in Skokie, Illinois, this same setting was also used in Risky Business from 1983, which included interior scenes in the school's hallways, classrooms, and the wrestling workout area, plus its main outdoor stairway entrance, which is the same one that Joel Goodson, played by Tom Cruise, uses during his nightmare of being late to school to take an exam. The production didn't have enough money to air condition the gym that they were filming in, and it was over 100 degrees while they were shooting. It was so hot that Havelin Morris changed her dress many times between takes due to all the sweat that she was producing. In the initial script, Sam's father ends his heart-to-heart -heart with his daughter by asking what happened to her underwear which she had given to Ted Farmer. 
Molly Ringwald's real-life mother pointed out that that was weird for a girl's father to ask that. John Hughes agreed with her, and he thought it was creepy too, and he changed that line. On the original VHS formats and some DVD versions of the film, Anthony Michael Hall is credited as the geek. In the television movie and the film versions, he's credited as Farmer Ted. His character's name is Ted Farmer. But due to some teacher's habits of doing roll call by calling out the students' names as they are printed out, He probably earned the nickname Farmer Ted because of his name being printed out as Farmer Ted, and it was subsequently called out that way. Now, the most classic line of the film is, Can I borrow your underpants for 10 minutes? It was voted number 86 on the 100 greatest movie lines of all time. It's thought that Molly Ringwald was extremely uncomfortable with some of the sexual-themed scenes, especially the scene where Ted takes Polaroids of a passed-out drunk girl's breast when he drives her home after a party. But she also admitted that the actress who played the role, Havelin Morris, said that she wasn't bothered by that scene at all. The Long Duck Dong character is suspiciously similar to another character in a story by John Hughes that he wrote for National Lampoon magazine. That was titled Christmas 59, and it went on to form the storyline for National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation in 1989. In the original story, Grandma and Grandpa Swenson are visiting for Christmas with an exchange student named Gung Wo. And in the same way as this movie, he mispronounces English phrases for comic effect. There are some scenes that were cut where Long Duck Dong and his sexy girlfriend go to a drive-in restaurant and cause a bit of trouble there. These scenes were later cut out of the film, but it does explain why there is a tray on the side of Grandpa's car. Now, Getty Watanabe, the guy that played Long Duck Dong, says that the gong sound effect wasn't included in the script. He thought that they just added that in post-production after somebody had a few too many beers. The studio was completely frantic about editing out F-bombs to avoid an R rating in the movie. There is a rule by the ratings board, which still stands, that if you have more than two F-bombs uttered in the script, the movie gets an R rating, which is why Breakfast Club gets an R rating and this movie gets a PG. But underage binge drinking and a teen, also underage, in a nude shower scene remained in the film, though the shower scene was played by a nude body double that was in her 20s. Now, in that shower scene, Havelin Morris, who played Carolyn, didn't want to do the full nude shower scene as it was written in the script. Now, this wasn't because that she was against being naked in the film, but it was because the point was that her character had bigger breasts than the other girls in the movie. But in reality, Morris's breasts weren't bigger. And it really didn't fit the storyline, and she knew it. So they used a body double who was more endowed for that scene. By the end of this film's run the first year, 16 Candles grossed about $24 million against a budget of $6.5 million. Take a look back at this funny film. It'll bring back a lot of memories from the 80s. Thank you so much for watching and we'll continue to chase the classics.